for everybody who is still around congratulations you made it till the final step the upload process itself so i have your two listings who are prepared and one without a listing i also show you why when you change from the edit to the upload window you will see that always only the files and designs are shown that have data so an xml file in the background because of course the tool can't upload something that isn't prepared so you have 100 free uploads every month and yeah all you have to do is of course write the listings and in option settings configure your auto login to make everything a bit easier and then after you did that hit start and then the upload process will start then of course it always begins with the auto login where everything is entered uh, sometimes here is also an OTP request where you get a two-step verification code on your phone. Um, the tool will stop at that point because it recognizes that. Then you can enter your OTP code, click OK, and then after this the auto or the login happens and the tool will continue automatically like it is doing here and already writing your listing, selecting the categories and then of course also jump to the second page the content page on the second page it will create you the ISBN number upload your manuscript and also of course create and upload your cover you probably know if you already uploaded to kdp that the yeah, upload itself takes a lot of time and a lot of effort the effort is more or less taken by the tool because it uh, enters everything as fast as possible and also of course automatically and but the thing is, Amazon still needs time to process the manuscript and process, of course, the cover. And this takes, yeah, I think usually around 8 till 12 minutes for a book. And um, this is where another thing comes in, in Flying Upload KDP. And this is that Flying Upload uploads in two parts. So if we go back to the tool you see here design one of two um, it creates now i show you the manuscript it is uploaded it will now also upload the cover and after that the first step from the upload is finished and the tool will save it as draft why is it doing that because the tool will now jump immediately to the second design and start the same process entering all the data uploading the manuscript uploading the cover and also save it as draft after that and if the first step has happened for every upload you have here in the tool it will jump back to the first initial design and continue with the second step so entering the pricing and uh, also publish the the book this is for one reason and this is the time that uh, Amazon needs to process the manuscript and the cover is um, yeah, used by the tool to already finishing up the other books and when it jumps back to the initial to the first one um, the processing is already done or at least it is uh, yeah maybe probably almost finished and then the co tool con can continue with publishing, publishing, publishing without waiting every time. And yeah, in the end, this is maybe at the first time a bit uh, yeah, special or confusing, but uh, after you saw it the first or second time, you will see that it is also a really, really huge time saver uh, when it already is creating the other books and then jumps back and publishing them. This is also why in the tool we are now at 25% from for the second from two designs because this is of course here till 50% the first step 
and after the 50% mark and it jumps back to the first one to publish the other 50% uh, percent will be yeah, uh, processed. So we are here at the second one. We wait till the cover is created and uploaded. This is now. Then the first step is finished for all two books or for all designs you have uh, in the upload and then it will jump back to the first one and continue with the second step. Let's see if it is already processed. Yes, is it, it is in the case. So the tool will launch the preview now in the second step. Approves. This is also the thing where uh, often yeah errors happen when something like the cover or the manuscript doesn't match the the um, yeah, the standards of, of KDP. But uh, this is done then more an individual problem. It has nothing to do with the upload itself. And then the prices will enter. Of course, you can set them individually. At Japan, the price would be too low, so it lets the standard price in, and then publish your. And then this has happened. It is now online, or it goes to uh, yeah to the check to Amazon KDP, and then it will of course continue also with the second book. Here, for example, the process hasn't finished, so Amazon still needs a moment to process your file, to process your cover, and then also will do the same. Um, you also see it here that now 75% are finished and one upload is gone because the first book was um, successfully published. Uh, other things I can show you now is when you go back to the edit window, I'll go back on the first one because you, we already uploaded that successfully. You see here the KDP sign is now in color. At the second one, because this is not finished, it is uh, yeah, grayed out more or less. And this color means, hey, this book was already successfully uploaded to Amazon KDP. You can also see that when you go to features and the upload manager that the first one is checked. So this means, hey, it is already uploaded. I'll show you now another thing um, at the second book here because this has not finished. We're still waiting till this is processed. What you can do or what can happen now is when the tool breaks down or your PC breaks down or whatever. Uh, so the process would stop here. Then of course the first design is yeah, already finished, but the second one still has the second step open. And the cool thing and the advantage of flying upload KDP is the tool knows that. So if you load in the two designs again and click on start, it will first bring you a warning and say, hey, the first one is already uploaded. You really want to upload that again. And then you say here, no, because you already have uh, published that. And then it will ask you for the second design. Hey, there is a design that is unfinished. You want to process that with the publishing. Here you say yes. And then the tool recognizes that and will jump to the second design, to the design that is not finished at that moment. And then we'll do just the second one. So if you have like um, a folder and you upload 50 designs and 25 of them are, are already uploaded and 25 or not, then you can simply click when the warning comes with, hey, these are already uploaded. Simply click then, no, you don't want to upload them again. And then when you have 50 in the list, the tool will just upload the 25 that are not published now. So this is how you can manage your uploads and you can have like, um, for example, a thousand books in the same folder and the tool would know every time um, what is uploaded, what is not uploaded. And yeah, so you never upload something twice. And yeah, this is a huge, a huge advantage. So no matter how you sort your books or uh, you don't know exactly what is uploaded or not, don't worry, the tool knows that the tool can start the second process and I <laughs> make here a big speech and during that time the second book is now also published. Um, you see here the upload report, of course, just the, um, 
just the second one is shown because the first one was skipped by us uh, because we clicked on stop. But um, if you go back now to the Kittle Direct Publishing site, you see both books. They are both in review, so they are both um, successfully uploaded. And then simply click OK here. And then you can, of course, check also again in the Upload Manager. Both books are checked, so both are uploaded. You can also check it in the Edit. Um, both have now color in their KDP sign. So everything fine, everything successful. And yeah, this is basically how the upload works. So it works in two steps. First, all the data. Second, the publishing. What you can also do is when process is interrupted, you can start again. The tool will ask you, should it uh, yeah, continue with the publishing process? You can click yes, and then it will continue with the second step for that book. And what is also possible when you have designs here who are already uploaded and you click on start, the tool will ask you, hey, these designs are already uploaded. You want to upload them again. And then you say, of course, no. And then only the books will be uploaded that aren't uploaded at the moment in the list. Yeah. And this is how the upload works, what you can do with it. I hope you like it. Also the extra features. And um, yeah, this was more or less the tutorial but there will be more videos where I explain the extra functions and features to you so you can use the full potential and see you soon.